Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a special start of a probably eight or ten part series I'm going to be putting together on this little gem behind me. And what we're going to call this is Make Short Box Regular Cab 4x4s Great Again. So the story on this pickup is this is a good friend of mine uh, and he is part owner in a, a company up here in Canada called truckbuyers.ca. So what they do is they buy pickups, they send them down to the United States, and they uh, jazz them up a little bit and sell them down there in their dealerships. So he found this little gem hanging around. Actually, it was kind of had one and a half owners. So it was um, a fella's dad's pickup and then he gave it to his son or the son bought it whatever uh, so it stayed in the family and then the son needed some cash to go to school and my buddy picked this up for a song so uh not a truck you see very much of anymore right everything's extended cab crew cab whatever he saw this and it uh tickled his his bathing suit area uh as these do Right? I mean, anyone that grew up through the uh, 70s, 80s, 90s, this was the pickup, right? Extended cabs and crew cabs were pretty rare. Now that's all you see, but... So anyway, we are going to make this little guy great again. And the really cool part about this pickup, other than the uh, the background story, is this truck's got a 5.3 in it. Um, which these little short box regular cabs didn't typically have. They had the V6. They were kind of the WT or whatever, the work truck is what they called them. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's kind of a pain in the ass for me to show you here with the camera in my hand, but um, this thing has, oops, scoot that by the hood, uh, push button four wheel drive, right? It's not on the transmission hump, it's got carpet, not vinyl, uh, AC, power windows, power locks, like it's a, a pretty kitted up little truck. 60-40 split bench with the console. Um, yeah, pretty neat little combo. And it's like, all intents and purposes, dead straight. You know, like the paint, it's 16 years old, right? It's a 2004, shows some issues, but anyway, that's gonna get all tidied up as well. Um, now the quick story on, uh, I guess, maybe the opening episode and where we're currently at. Uh, my buddy that owns this truck, he was in town, he brought it in to me, and uh, we tore into this thing over a couple of 7-ups. And here's where we're at. So real close to pulling this guy out, um, the only thing I've got left is bell housing bolts, starter, and the driver's side motor mount. Everything else is ready to come out. But with Christmas upon us, family time, things of that nature, we're uh, somewhat slowing down here a little bit. Um, but in the coming, say, next three to five days, this is coming out. So, parts list. Let's go back into this thing. We got a uh, comp cam. Uh, thumper stage one, I believe. Uh, nice little kind of bottom end to 62, 6300 RPM cam, nice little idle on it, uh, comes with timing chain, uh, new sprockets, uh, roller rockers, or pardon me, not roller rockers, uh, roller lifters, uh, push rods, uh, nice little kind of tune up. Uh, what else do we got? Plugs, wires, we're gonna clean all this up. Everything's getting painted. Speed blasted and painted, uh, new looming, uh, clean everything else up, right? It's definitely shows 16 years worth of grease and grime and dirt and what have you. Uh, yeah, so this is our little uh, our little beauty. And then some other little things, right? Long tube headers, new full exhaust, alternator, power steering pump, um, new gaskets, like essentially all of the stuff that's gonna make this thing back to 2004 standards and beyond. So this is the, the project for the coming weeks. Pretty excited about this little guy. I've always wanted to do a little short box Chevy, uh, well GM, pardon me, but short box Chevy for all intents and purposes. So it's gonna be a fun one. 
Yeah, so for all of you uh, Chevy GM uh, short box railer cab lovers out there, we're going to make this guy great again. Um, and or for all of you LS lovers, well, it's not an LS, but you know what I mean. It's based off the LS platform. Um, follow along. We're going to be doing, uh, this is a pretty standard hop up kit, if you want to call it that, um, that most guys do in these 5.3s. I mean, you can really wake them up with a cam. Uh, headers, you know, let them breathe a little bit better. Um, we're expecting 75 to 100 horse wake up in this little guy, so um, yeah, should be good. Definitely feel it in the seat, the seat of your pants dyno. So, uh, as always, questions, comments, let me know what's going on with your, uh, your guys' projects, and uh, if there's something I can lend a hand with, comment below. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be keeping you posted on what's going on with this guy. So thanks, guys. Um, and today is December 24th. So I'm not sure when you're going to be watching this, but uh, if it's right recent, Merry Christmas. All the best to you and your family. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.